hello guys welcome back to my channel this is shades of my day so today i'll be working on this particular design is it's very very simple you can get the password in the video password is in the video so what you do here is to bring in okay let me switch up all these layers first to explain to you how i got this design so I was scrolling through Pinterest and I saw this beautiful design and I felt like I can do something creative with it. Because the idea of being a graphic designer is to always be creative. Be creative. And you can you can achieve so much by being creative. So I got this image online. So if you see that if I switch off this Gaussian blur effect to, to have this kind of background and I don't want this. So I wanted something that is, you know, kind of fun and not too noisy. So I added a cushion blur effect to it. I added 31.8 pixel radius to uh, the radius is 31.8 pixel. Now, if you want, if you do, if you don't know how to get this cushion blur, you come to your filter here, your blur, then cushion blur. Very simple. So I got this. I I also got this image online. You can see if I let me delete this part. You can see this image is, is not looking okay at all. So I wanted the image to blend well with the background. So what I did here was to come to my layer mask here. My fog, my, my foreground color set to black. I come to my gradient to here. I gently brush something like this. Something like this. Gently brush. Now I'll change if I if you see if I change the blend mode to normal, it will look kind of too 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 bright. Come to blend mode, change it to screen for this one. Very simple. So very simple. Then also I used a layer a, a an overlay effect, a grungy overlay effect. So if you change this blend mode to normal, you can see it's not looking too good. So I change the blend mode to screen to make it to have a kind of dim feel and I reduce the opacity to 42. So I always create a flare in my if in my designs. If you notice, if you notice, you can create yours by um clicking on this to create new new layer on your keyboard, press B. Now come to your foreground color, you can change it to whatever you want. You can change it to anything you want. You can change it to orange, to this, to that. You can change it to anything you want. You can just gently tap. You can tap, tap once. You can see it's almost the same, 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 same thing as my color. Then play around the blend mode. You can use linear dot add. You can see linear dot add. I used. You can see the same thing as this color. So it's very, very simple. Sorry, very simple to get this. And I played around it and I also added this image also. I got it online. I changed the blend mode also to screen. If you see normal, you can see normal is not looking okay. Blend mode to, to screen is, is looking better this way. Then for this image, sorry. Come in, okay. For this image, like I said in my previous videos if you notice my image you would see that i they are usually well sharpened you can see it's it's kind of sharp because i use a plugin called sorry plugin called topaz lab and nick collections what this plugin does is to make your image sharp you can get this on YouTube. Just type uh, Topaz Lab and Next Collections. You, 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 will, you will see different options that will teach you how to download this particular um, file and how to install it. It's very, very simple. So I duplicate. I did. Yes. Uh -huh. This is where the work is. Sorry. Yes. Well, what I did here was to create let me switch this off create a new layer like this 
let me release clipping mask in layer right click create clipping mask here change the blend mode to screen now on your on your on your keyboard you will press b for brush b for brush oh sorry yeah for brush so you can reduce it. it's not this one now is it does not have a, a specific value you can decide to reduce the opacity you know the flow you know the likes you can just gently brush around like this just to give it life something like this to give it life that glowy feel gently brush you know see very simple I said that my 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 foreground color is at see so, somewhere, somewhere, somewhere around orange so you can just gently brush like this it's very simple gently brush to give it life yes simple now for the next stage i duplicated this particular layers that i've i already um, created here so if you switch this on you can see that it's giving that sharp look the same thing here too let me just this a little bit this kind of so as usual my text my pack text this 3d this one here the shape you know different shape different text okay then this this is simple simple now for this text this final text was gotten online gotten online is a 3d text from free pics from free pics so you can get this text also from from free pics it's very it's very simple so just but don't but but don't worry i i will drop this particular files everything in the link below the ps in the link below so you can do it to download and subscribe thank you very much